What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day. So today we're going to be doing the dollhouse room challenge. Now this has been a challenge that's been very popular with the, within the Sims community for about a week or two now. Um, this actually originated from a user on Tumblr called Smart Milk. They actually have a lot of rooms on their Tumblr. Not only that, but they have a lot of cool pictures. So it's definitely something worth to check out. I will post their Tumblr link in the description below. Um, this is actually really fun. I had more fun with this than I thought I would. It, it was very hard to not decorate. I went in this not knowing what I wanted to do. That was the biggest thing. I knew that I wanted to do an office and I wanted to do a room, probably a kid's room. But I didn't know how to decorate it. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, a lot of people have been going for like the more cutesy styles. I wanted to do something a little bit more modern. A um, little bit more upscale. So, and a lot of CC was involved with this. Um, I love my CC. I don't use it a lot for room builds as I should. So, being able to use it and actually make a, like, um, a nice little room was pretty amazing. So for this, right now, I'm just basically trying to uh, get some like decorations. That was my biggest thing because, especially with that bookshelf, I had the hardest time like trying to figure out what clutter I wanted to put in this room. It was a mess. So. I actually, when I heard about this challenge, I didn't know what it was. I was kind of like, well, what is this? Like, what what, what do you mean dollhouse challenge? Because it kind of sims in its own way is a dollhouse. And, um, I mean, when you really think about it. So I actually looked it up, and something like this originated. There, this, there is actually a dollhouse challenge where you create a dollhouse, a two-story dollhouse, and then you create a family of um, a mom, dad, and then a son and a daughter and you basically don't do the back walls and you live it's like a legacy challenge but it's in the dollhouse aesthetic where you do you basically have to let them live for 10 generations and then um there's a lot of chat like a lot of rules basically the same as the legacy rules but a lot of different things and um it was pretty cool so i thought this was the same but it's not um, I like the room challenge though, because it's something that you don't have to commit a lot to. Uh, it's something that you can just make a room and you can be done and it's something simple. I would like to do a full blown dollhouse at some point, but that's going to be for a later day. I just don't, I wouldn't know what to do. But with this build, I actually took a while, like trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I think right now I decided I'm like, I want to do a fireplace. So I kind of started moving stuff around. I didn't really know if you could put stuff on the outer edges where there is no wall. So I just put the, I put that right there for now, the bar, just to kind of see how everything would fit. And then I tried to put some stuff on the mantle and it just didn't, like fit the aesthetic i think that was from the day of the dead patch the free patch that we got like a year or two ago um but really just trying to decorating was the hardest because i had not looked at my max's match build cc in a while so i really didn't know what i had with decoration wise i kind of just downloaded a lot of stuff and forgot that i had a lot of stuff but then i decided that i was going to put a tv so i had moved that and really just make it more of a man cave than an actual office. Like this person I kind of visualize, like they work at home. This would actually be a, ba a great room for the new, um, what is it? The freelance career that we're getting on uh, April 16th. So I had that kind of in mind, but basically like they would be in their computer, they would do their freelance stuff. Um, obviously he'd probably be a writer and um if he was taking a break or he was you know done here mainly this would be a probably the guys um but it could be a you know for a girl too you know if they get done with work for the day they can just pop up on the couch relax watch some tv get a cold one um one thing that i forgot to do that i wanted to do was make was actually put a stereo in there totally forgot about it 
but we can just pretend. You know what? They can just. It's. We're in 2019. They can listen to music on their computer. It's all good. So I think at this point, I was trying to. Yes, I was trying to look for books. I, I knew I had a lot of CC books. Could not find any. So I did a little bit like that. I think I just started going back looking just looking for books i whatever books i could find i just put them on there um and i eventually found my cc books again just trying to find clutter to make the room look a little bit more put together i love like one of the biggest things i love with house builds or even room builds i love putting clutter because I think you actually could start doing clutter in The Sims 3, but it wasn't like mature enough like it is in The Sims 4. Um, but the thing that bugged me like with The Sims 1 and Sims 2, since they weren't too um, sophisticated, was you couldn't do clutter. Everything had to look neat, proper, like they were clean freaks. With Sims 3, it got better, and with Sims 4, like you could have the sloppy slobs, and it would just... I love it. So with the kids room, I want to do a, a little kids room, a um, boys room. I wanted to do a superhero type theme room because I did have the set. Um, it is actually a Batman set that someone I think I got off of Tumblr. Um, but a lot of times like I would go back and you'll see it later, but I went back and forth through the wallpaper because I did like this bed a lot more than I liked the Batman bed. But um, that bed basically has the old comic book like PAL, you know, things like that. Um, but yeah, I had a more clear vision for this because it's kind of easier for me to decorate a kid's room. Um, again, again, the art deco was the thing that I, I didn't have a problem with. I just didn't know what I wanted to put. Because I didn't want to make just make it all superhero. I wanted to add other stuff to it. Um, kind of changing it around. Looking for certain posters. I think at one point right here. I look for the kids room stuff. Just to kind of see what is in there that I could use. And then there's the Batman. That painting set canvas set actually came with the bed and the wallpaper i don't think it came with anything else oh it came with a divider that i also put in the very end but this one i didn't put as busy looking as the study um i did kind of make it a little bit messy but not too much there's the uh bobo harry potter poster right there and this is where I kind of go back and forth and kind of see which one I like more I think I decided to stick with the wallpaper that I have now just because it matches the bed a little bit better and I like that bed way more than I like the other swatch so then at one point I wanted him to have a pet so I think I ended up putting a fish tank and the fish tank kind of didn't look it was hanging off the edge of the dresser so trying to figure out oh and here the diary the diary would not fit the way i wanted it to fit like i wanted it to be a little catty corner so like perfectly on the nightstand but it, it just wouldn't work so i ended up just leaving it on the nightstand like it was and this is where i was doing the fish tank i couldn't get it to work properly so i added the hamster cage excuse me i added, I added the hamster cage and then i just kind of moved the paintings around to make it look a little bit more everything could be shown so i think at this point i'm looking for decoration so i'm looking just to deck like decorate the dresser kind of make it look a little bit more cluttered i added more books um i think at one point i added laundry on the floor we definitely needed more laundry like dirty laundry the bookcase or the book what am i talking about the book bag on the floor the dirty laundry and then i added i think the last two things i added were the hamper and i think i added the divider so i really had a lot of fun doing this like i said i had way more fun than i thought i would um doing this was a lot of fun a lot of creative things that go on this is definitely the more cuter room that i did the more cutesy room that i did but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you again later